So, if you were on Discord today, you'd probably see me going back and forth with Rob Roy Merrick. And you're probably wondering, who is that guy? I'm wondering the same thing, even though I've known him since 2018 or 2019. And, uh... So we were going back and forth, and, and my thinking is, if he really knows me so well, he would know that some of my questions are more than questions sometimes. For example, when I when I was asking about why did YouTube take down the, those videos uh, for regulated goods, and he sends a video to me, and he's like, okay, here's what YouTube is thinking, and it's kind of nice, but... My point is going beyond that. It's kind of it's kind of good to to get an answer because I asked a question because YouTube took down three videos, two of them for uh, cyberbullying and harassment, and one of them for regulated goods. And I was like, what does that even mean? But I don't really mean that. I don't know. I kind of know. I kind of don't know. But that's not the point. But um, if you really knew me. Uh, you would know that I kind of know and I kind of don't know. It's like you can know something without really, really like knowing it kind of thing. And um, there's always more to it. And uh, like there's a general level to to understanding things. And then if you dive deep, you you can find out a lot more. And some people are like, well, you know, that's not important. But actually it is very important. And uh, I still feel like I don't really know who Rob is, Rob Roy. Um, he gave some clues today that I might look at in order to determine who he is. Well, I could probably find the envelope of the, um, since he sent me a book. His address is on there, unless if it's not really his address, which is possible. But the book came from somewhere on the East Coast. And East Coast means on the east side of America. At least from my own understanding, that's the way I look at it. I've always looked at it that way. Just like I look at the word couple and I don't think of just two, even though that's what people think of. I think more generic, like less than five, is what couple means. Because to me, I think more generic uh, in regards to words in general. I mean, not always, but you know, it depends you know, and everything. But uh, I find that it's important to... Um, Go back and forth between looking at things specifically and looking at things generically. I talk a lot about how I'm a paradox, in, at least in some ways or sometimes. I strongly believe in that kind of philosophy. I've talked about it a lot. I've wrote about it. When I talk about my laugh and everything, I uh, try to talk about it. But I know that people don't. Uh, read everything that, that I put out there, uh, watch all my videos and everything, um, and, and nor should you. Well, I mean, of, of course I kind of want you to, but it's like there's not enough hours in the day for people to do that. So uh, sometimes I just don't know what to, what to say, what to do, because sometimes I feel like I don't know what people know. Or don't know about me or about anything when you know if I'm talking about myself or talking about life or talking about something um, it's it's very difficult but um, I felt pretty passionate uh, in the conversation today I feel like it was important and that's why I did it and I copy and paste my conversation from discord um, the memes world productions discord and I copy and paste it, everything that I wrote, into into my daily blog. I do that uh, because it's important. And otherwise, I wouldn't have written it. I mean, what's the point of writing something if um, it's just going to disappear in five seconds? I believe that when you do something, you should put your heart and your soul into it and... Uh, I will sometimes say things that are not exactly true and I feel like people who know me will know that and that it'll be obvious. Like if I say I'm just a um I'm just a drunk who doesn't do anything all day. If you knew me you would know that's obviously not true. But, you know, if you wanna believe that I'm a nobody, you can do that. 
So, you know, like say, for example, is Rob Roy, is he, is he a good guy or is he a bad guy? I don't, I don't totally know. I kind of have, you know, my, my feelings, but, uh, I have a lot of mixed feelings about it going back four or five years with this guy. And, um, I, I want to assume he's an old guy. Uh, but then again, it's possible that he's younger than me based on some of the clues that, um, that I got from him today in Discord. Uh, I mean, it's possible I got some of these clues before, back in 2019, and that I kind of forgot because some of that sounds familiar. Uh, you could say... That this video that you're watching right now is not that important. And maybe, maybe it's not. And I say that about a lot of things that I do, that I say. A lot of my articles, a lot of my videos and everything. A lot of things, so many things. You could say some of those things or all of those things are not very important. Or um, not important enough, etc, etc. Uh, and I'm not going to say you're wrong, at least maybe not completely. I'm not here to, to uh, justify all the choices that I make, but sometimes I'm uh, just trying to let people know why or how I made the choices that I made in my life, right or wrong. I like to walk through them step by step and I want people to, to really get the the entire gravity to to it all to everything and um, I want people to see the nuance and not get too stuck in the the headlines I made an example of that one I mean you know one of the biggest examples was like when I wrote an article that said I Killed, like wow, it's like it's a headline, and it's just a headline, and then I I explain what I mean in the article. But most people don't read articles entirely. Most of them get stuck on the headlines, and a lot of people know that, and that's what fake news is all about. People don't dig into it. Like this video, for example, most people will not watch the video. This video right now. If you're reading this, if you're watching this, you know it's like you are one of the view. I mean, it's possible that that some people will, and more and more people may see some of it, read some of it, watch some of you know, like my stuff or your stuff or something. You know, uh, it happens sometimes. But at the same time, you will run into a lot of hate. You know, a lot of haters and stuff. Uh, as you grow, and I'm um, not here to talk about that either right now. I, I like to say that in videos where I, like, I kind of mention things, and then I say, I don't have time to talk about that. And it kind of sounds like a joke, but it's not. But I do it in a joking way, but um, I kind of like doing that, and I like to talk about paradoxes, and um, I really want to explain what I mean by that, but not right now. And I'm serious about that. But um, right now, I just wanted to make a quick video just just to say I don't know Roy. Uh, I do and I don't. It's a paradox. But it's like, I don't. I do and I don't. But um, um used, a, uh, used an avatar profile picture of a guy he knew, a best friend. Uh, it's probably written down in my blog where um, I linked to who that guy is. And so I'll, all I have to do is cross-reference who that guy was friends with. If, if I can figure out who that guy is because I, I already looked him up. And there was a guy that died. And that was the profile picture that Roy was using. And all I have to do is dig into my articles, find the find the one where I linked to... Uh, that guy, and then try to investigate that guy. And then maybe I could figure out which one of his best friends it is, that Roy is. And Roy would be one of those people. And that would be one way to find out. 
Or I could just try to find the envelope that probably has his address on it. Then I would know a little bit about who this guy is. Not that, not that I have to. But part of the reason why I would is because, you know, when somebody like Roy, for example, says, uh, you can't do it. It kind of makes me want to do it. Not, not. Not to say that that Roy said that. I can't exactly say that. I can't. I don't want to put words in his mouth. Not necessarily. Not to say that I don't. That I haven't. Uh, I try not to. But you know, I do do that stuff sometimes. Uh, sometimes purposely, sometimes accident, accidentally, uh, or what have you, but are uh, combinations of stuff. But you know, um, I believe strongly in what I do, and I don't care what people think about me. But um, I'm just thinking from the top of my head who is this Roy Gar? Uh, is he trying to help me uh, or not? Uh, I will, um, I will get back to you on that.